one. I'm here right now with Cal State San Bernardino coming off a four set victory in the semifinals of the 2023 CCA Volleyball Tournament. I'm joined right now by head coach Kim Cherness. On her right, we have Jenna Patton. On her immediate left, we have Shira Lahava, Lahav, sorry. And on further left, we have Ashley Robinson. Coach, would you take us through your thoughts on today's match with Cal Poly Pomona? Yeah, I mean, I just think it was, uh, it was a testament to the importance of defense in volleyball because uh, I think both teams hit significantly below their, uh, their average. And you can see the amount of digs that we had uh, between the two of us in that match. That's what, well above 15 digs a set, right? I mean, what was it? We were in the 70s, weren't we? Some digs per set. So we had 76, they had 72. That's a lot of digs per set. And you see multiple players in double digit digs. And with the level of offense that was being executed out there to have that many digs, that's a really, really impressive defensive effort. So I think both teams were very stubborn defensively, made a lot of great plays. And so it was really the little things in the end that made the difference. I think our block was a little bit more effective maybe than theirs was down the stretch. We had some really, really key blocks, which of course is part of defense. But the amount of digs really stood out to me in that match. The level of effort for both teams to make digs was Pretty, I told my team in one of the timeouts, I was just really inspired watching the, both teams playing. So uh, I thought that was fantastic. And I'm really proud of our team for not getting frazzled. I think both teams are probably used to getting kills and, uh, and it wasn't easy to get kills tonight. So I, I was really proud of us for continuing to stay the course and, and work hard in the match. Sure, let me talk to you a little bit about that. We're gonna follow right up with Coach and the dig numbers you guys had out there. You're obviously a little barrel out there. You had 14 digs tonight. But the girl on your left right there, Ashley Robinson, had 17. Can you tell me maybe about the prize you did and how that's all working together? I'm sure there's a little internal competition and I'm sure you want to be the top, but tell me about that when you guys were competing out there for those. Well, I think, I mean, I'm happy for her. That's all fine. Uh, it's always obviously like pushing me more, so that's good. Um, it just like the effort. And I feel like we all do it. You just go for it. It's just a heart. Um, and I think it's really the identity of, of our program. You just go for it, you put everything you have. Ashley's one of the good, most good, like the better player of doing it. So, I don't know, it just, you just go for it. It's, it's fun. You can't not not go for it. Well, I had to ask that one. And Ashley's kind of the perfect example today of the defense and offense out there. She also is second on the team, oh, sorry, half of the team lead with 13 kills, along with being the team leader in digs. Can you tell me what was happening, what was working for your team out there offensively today as much as we heard about the defense? Yeah, I mean, first off, defensively, we need to get those touches in order to set our hitters. And I think um, Marley and Shear as well did a super good job at giving us hitters good balls to just put down. That's really the key component that we've been working on in practice. Good balls to either pin and let us bang the ball. So that's really what we saw tonight. Uh, Jenna, I want to talk to you a little bit more about that offense out there. I'm seeing you guys have Trinity has 13 kills, Ashley has 13, you have 12, um, and then even Savannah has six out there. Seems like you guys have a lot of options out there. Can you tell me about playing with Marley and how she seems to get so many people involved? It seems like you guys aren't one person every night and how she really distributes it for you. Honestly, playing with Marley is insane. Like, we could be calling something completely random. I could be calling an A but running a one and like she reads us with her mind. Like she is one of the best centers ever. And I think she just knows how to run it well. She knows how to move the ball around properly and get us open. And I, I think that's why we have so many good hitters on our team or are able to have so many good hitters is because of Marley, honestly. Um, I think tonight was really good. I, it's insane seeing how many people have so many kills, honestly. Um, I think they were a great defensive team because our stats were all over the place. But other than that, I think she obviously did a great job either way, just always living around. Coach, we obviously know this team has had a lot of success over the years. You guys have won most of these conference tournament titles. Just tell me about the opportunity with this new group of giving back to this tournament championship and how what that game means for your program tomorrow or this year's team tomorrow. I love this team. <laughs> I, I absolutely love coaching this team. I'm having so much fun with them. They're so pure in their 
in their approach to the game. I mean, it's literally just about wanting to win as a team. You know, very little drama. I mean, let's get real, it's 18 women. There's sometimes <laughs> a little bit of drama. But when it comes to the game, when it comes to playing the match and, and training and in the gym, I mean, they are so focused on, let's be the best team we can be. Like and, a one court. Yeah, 100%. They're, and a lot of people are sacrificing in one way or another, in some way, most of the team sacrifices, right? Because 18 people on a roster, there's six people on the floor. There's 12 people who aren't getting everything they would like, right? But everybody is super excited for us to be successful. And so I just love coaching this team. They're, they're game for anything. I'm like, okay guys, we're changing it up. They're like, there she goes. <laughs> so, they, but they, they go with me and they trust me. And um, that makes it such a fun journey. Um, the collaboration, you know, between staff and players. I absolutely love it. Well, if you feel the energy from this side, we can't wait to see you all back on the court tomorrow. You guys have a matchup against the number two seed in this tournament, Cal State LA at three o'clock. So good luck to Cal State San Bernardino. Thank you. Thank you.